Okay, I'm going to show you how to do some glass windows. But before I do that, I want to note something. You can see that I added another door on this side and I added a window on the door this time. Again, I did the window the same way I did this, straight vertical line. These two lines go back to the vanishing point and then ending with a straight vertical line. Notice that the windows on this, the right-hand side of my building, are the same length and start at the same place that these do. So a, one of the mistakes I see a lot of students make is they make windows on this side, but then their next set of windows end up starting down here and they don't line up. So if you think about a building, your windows as they round the corner, they're all lined up. So make sure that when you're doing windows that you're keeping them in line and they're not bringing it down. So for glass windows, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to decide how many panels I want. And I'm going to try and make them equal distant. This is a little off, but that's okay. And I'm going to go ahead and draw from each of these dots to my vanishing point on both sides. And I'm not going to go past my building. I'm going to stop at the edge of my building. Now you can decide whether you want this bottom part to be like solid or brick or something and that maybe these are just windows, office windows above. So then what I would do is I'd line up my my ruler with my vanishing point, or not my vanishing point, sorry, line up the ruler with the bottom edge of my paper and then figure out how wide are those window panels going to be. And I'm going to come straight down. Oops, we might stop there because maybe the bottom of this is brick. And I'm going to come over and I'm going to do the same thing here. Now, this building has, you see, you're seeing more of, this goes back further. So over here, we might have them get smaller and smaller as they go back. So I'm just going to bring them in just a little bit further. So every time I move my ruler, I might move my ruler just fewer and fewer steps away so that these boxes get a little bit slower, or not slower, but smaller as you go back. I'm getting tired, so you can tell I'm making mistakes. So, um, so that is how you could do that. You can, if you want to show that there's light being reflected, you can go ahead and kind of put in a couple of kind of like light shining reflective marks. Okay. Um, the next window I'm going to show you is going to be a recessed window. So let's just say that we have a recessed window on this building. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to line my ruler up with the bottom of my paper and I'm going to draw a window. And let's say this window ends here. So I'm going to use the paper off my, my page to go this way. So there I have a window and I'm going to stop the window there. I'm going to bring the other side. Stop the window there. Line my ruler up at the bottom edge of my paper. And there we go. Now to do a recessed window, to make it look like it's going in and like there's a ledge going around, I'm going to take the corner. I'm going to, because I can't, I'm not going to see the floor. I'm not going to see this, but I will see this. So I'm going to take this vanish this little corner and I'm going to bring it back to the opposite vanishing point. And I'm just going to come in just a tiny bit, just like that. And then from here, I'm going to line up my ruler with my vanishing point on this side and I'm going to go to that edge and then I'm going to line my ruler up with the bottom of my paper and come down here. So that is showing kind of like that there's a ledge within your building and this could be window. So 
try a couple of those and I will come back and I will show you how to do bricks and a couple other types of windows and we'll move on from there.